Should Elaine Tomsehera demand more money? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. People, we have a little goal of 10,000 subs and we are almost there because of people like you. So big up to yourself. Also, if you enjoy our content, please hit the like button. It pushes us out. The algorithms absolutely love it. And people, it's absolutely free. So hit the like button. Make sure you comment also. On the normal love reading the comment. Sometimes I don't agree with you, but I learn a whole heap. So, are you ready for deal with this? Uh, I'm sorry. Are you ready to discuss this topic? Are you ready? Yep. Good to go. Elaine Tom Sahara is currently the number one female track athlete in the world you can always question it but i am absolutely sure i'm fine if you disagree let me know elaine thompson finished the greatest track season in the history of female sprints in the 2021 season where she ran the fastest time in the world and the second fastest time of all at the prefontaine classic in eugene oregon earlier this year in the Diamond League, where she ran an, an unprecedented, remarkable 10.54, just a hair's breadth away from the 30-odd-year-old record held by Flo Jo of the United States, which is 10.49 in the women's 100 meters. She also won three gold medals in the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, winning the women's 100 meters in an Olympic record time of 10.61, another record that stood for over 30 years set by Flojo, winning the 200 meters in a remarkable 21.53, becoming the second fastest uh, 200 meter in history outside of Flojo, and winning a third gold medal in the women's four by 100 meters. She also became the second human being and first woman to repeat, meaning, she won the gold in the 100 and 200 meters at the Rio Olympics in 2016 and repeated the feat in 20, the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games. She recently um, was given the Order of Distinction Commander Class by the government and the people of Jamaica. She became the, uh, the uh, Diamond League champion in the women's 100 meters in Zurich earlier this year. In other words, people, Elaine Tomsehera has had the best season of any sprint female's life. I mean, it's just been an amazing season. So big up to you. Big up to you, Elaine Tomsehera. However, there's been a little bit of controversy also. Um, she recently left MVP Track Club, which she's been with for some time. And left her coach, one of the best track coaches in the world, Stephen um, Francis, recently. I'm going to leave a link for my story on that. Please go see it. Now, in a recent interview, in fact, the interview was yesterday uh, on the BBC uh, radio, I think. Yesterday, meaning the 20th of October, 2021. Elaine Tom Sahara had this to say. I think we should get the attention that we deserve and also equal payment, you know, because everybody is working hard. So the attention, for example. Now, I have constantly said in my vlogs that the purpose of this is meaning what athletes do. It's not just about breaking records, running amazing times, uh, filling stadiums um, or live streams. Uh, keeping us entertained. It's not just about um, their endorsements. It's about money. It's a job. And um, I, I really think um, she raises a very valid question. She's basically saying something that I'm sure women all over the world have been saying for quite some time and, are, and in some cases are still saying. She's saying, look, um, uh, we women are working as hard as the men. We need to be paid the same way that the men are being paid. We deserve equal pay. And Melga Talk Street, I completely, utterly agree. I have said it. Some people have challenged it. You all are, have a right to your opinion. 
but she is the hottest commodity in sprint in track and field today there is no other commodity hotter than her this woman can fill stadiums by herself just like um shelly and fraser uh did back in the day and probably still can do just like um we saw uh you saying both do and you saying has made some insane amount of money right you saying both uh and i i i i was <laughs> look i just think it is fair that if you are the top sprinter in the world today male or female her name is the name that 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 attracts people to the stadiums and to the live feeds her name is a name that uh, most vloggers use most newspapers news i mean she is the pull presently why isn't she being paid um equal to men and what i really admire about this is that she's not just talking about her she's not just saying elaine tom sahira um is demanding more money she's saying i'm demand i think all our female athletes should be paid equal to men now my brothers i know that that some of you may disagree but i know most of you would agree she's the best of the best of the best she's the cream of the crop um i have indicated that i think that may have been one of the reasons why she left the mvp track club it's about money uh in a recent interview coach steve francis said as much we'll say in summary that most athletes from what i've heard who have who make changes do it because of finances uh, that short clip comes from a sports max feature i'm going to leave a uh, a link for them you should go and see it it's actually a really really good um interview and I, i'm not lying <laughs> it's a great interview big up to sports max um but he makes a valid point um he goes on to say in the same interview that um you know when you're hot you're hot and you need to maximize at that point in time it's a business it's a job and if and if it's a business the the obvious purpose is to generate income it's to make money i'm not going to i'm not saying that the other things aren't important you know like your legacy or you know the fastest woman alive etc but i'm just simply saying that um if you are the hottest football player in the world if you are the the, the best wrestler on the planet if you are the number one actor, number one singer, um, you should be paid accordingly. It should have nothing to do with your sex. It shouldn't have to do with your being male or female. That should have nothing to do with the process. And I think she has a right to demand equal pay. And I really respect, I'm gonna, I'm gonna repeat this, the fact that she's not just talking about um, Elaine Tom Sahara. She's talking on the behalf, she's, she's speaking on the behalf of, of female athletes globally track athletes globally she's saying look we women deserve equal pay and i i, I mean i want to hear your opinions but i am saying this woman is the hottest commodity right now i i cannot i know some of you might disagree but i cannot say how logically you can disagree she is it why shouldn't she be paid the same money that the male athletes who let us face it right now the male sprinters in a, in the most jamaican of parlance not now guan nothing and i am not disparaging our male athletes i am in no way doing that but i'm simply saying the commodity right just like you saying boat was the commodity um six seven eight nine ten twelve years ago she's the hot commodity now i, I think the only person probably close to her is of course sherry and fraser price why shouldn't they demand and be getting the same salary that the men are getting i don't know about you but i don't think many people were super excited let us be honest about the finals of the men 100 meters at the recent tokyo 2020 olympics or the diamond league men's 100 meters 200 not many people i'm not saying we didn't mind but the focus was really on shelly and fraser price battling out with elaine tom sahara why should they be paid more money can somebody please explain to me why what 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 i mean she's pulling they're pulling so why shouldn't they earn the same income so i am saying yeah she deserves she has a right to demand more pay she's earned that right and the women in general have this have earned that right i'm yes i'm being passionate i'm not normally like this but i i when i when i saw when i heard that interview i was like yo big up big up 
big up Elaine Thompson here. You know, utilizing your, your place in the space to make way for everyone else. It, it's, it's only fair. Yes, people, she deserved it. She's the hottest commodity right now. Now, in her, um, her, her Twitter response to being given the order of distinction, commander class, by the people and government of Jamaica, she, she indicated you know, that she'd be doing this. She said, I now use this classification to help motivate and uplift women and young girls to strive without limits. To God be the glory. I'm going to repeat that. I now use this classification to help motivate and uplift women and young girls to strive without limits. People. She's already begun to, to do this. In this interview, uh, BBC Radio 5 yesterday, the 20th of October 2021. She right now has leverage and she's saying, look to the IAAF and all the, the, the governing bodies. Come on, guys. It's time you start paying us equal to the men. Oh, the 2022 track season has pretty much officially started and you know she's as far as we know she's uh, working out at Michael uh, Michael <laughs> uh, Michael Teachers College with her husband uh, Darren Hera look I don't know what your thoughts are I mean I, I like I said one of the reasons why I often read your comments it's the truth you guys I, I learn a whole from the world both kings and the queens um, like, and I freely admit I don't, sometimes I do not agree, but I still learn, you know, uh, this channel is about the exchange of information. That's one of the things I want us to establish. Do I think Elaine Thompson Hera should demand more money? Unequivocally, yes. Do I absolutely adore and admire the fact that she's doing this not just for herself, but on the behalf of women across the globe, women represented in the track and field. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. Truly remarkable. This is one of the first times I have I remember a Jamaican female athlete doing this. It may have happened before. If it has, please let me know in the comments. This is a huge step, people. It might seem simple, but it's a huge step. She's leveraging who she is. To assist women across the world i really want to know if you believe that she has a right to demand this 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 equal pay this raise of pay for herself and, and and other female athletes i really want to know your honest opinion if you agree no problem if you disagree let me know make sure you leave a thumbs up people hit the like button it helps us it pushes us out on the algorithm that's a huge deal share the vlogs if you enjoy them share them you know refer them to your friends big deal we are moving very quickly towards that 10,000 subs and it's just because of, of all of you thank you so very much um and 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 i and like i said i respect the fact that you leave your comments sometimes we don't get along we have a little duel but if i'm wrong i say hey i'm wrong if i mess up i say hey i messed up um you know some of the fiesty still don't know fiesty <laughs> Um, for those of you who are not Jamaican, feisty means, I don't know, kind of rude. Uh, I, 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 that's the only way I can say it, but I mean that in, in, in the most loving and positive way. Because um, sometimes, it, oh no, oh no, trust me. Anyway, <laughs> um, you know, leave the comments. I do read them and I often learn and, I, and, and it's wonderful to, to hear and see your perspective. Um, make sure you subscribe, please subscribe if you haven't done so subscribe it's helping us it's pushing us out all these things help the algorithm you know tell a friend to tell a friend about the channel uh and thank you i mean it's great to meet people who are as passionate about track and field as i am uh and who are just massive fans of the sport big up to all of you so let me know should uh elaine tom sahara demand more money do you think she has that right? I really want to know. And as always, what I always say, bless up. Yeah.
Yeah, you're like that. Yeah. <laughs>